The railway crossing gate consists of the 100 kg gate arm having a centre of mass at GA and the 250 kg counterweight having a, mass, a centre of mass at GW. Determine the magnitude and directional sense of the resultant moment produced by the weights about points A and B. So let's start off by kind of drawing ourselves a diagram where we mark the forces on it. Um, we can probably just, if we want to, put it over the top of this one. So we're told that we have a gate arm, which is 100 kilograms. So that's this one here. And we're going to be able to say that the weight of this arm can act through its center of gravity on its own. So we can work it out. We know that the weight is equal to the mass times gravity. So if it's 100, gravity is 9.8. We're going to have a force of 980 newtons acting down through the center there. The other one we're told is 250 kilograms and its center is at GW. So that's this in here. Again, we can work out how much weight that corresponds to by taking the mass and multiplying by gravity. So it's going to be 250 times 9.8, and this one comes out to be 2450 newtons. All right, so now we can move on to working out the um, moment that we experience about the two different points. So let's start with point B. I think that's the easy one and figure out what the moment is. So we know that the sum of the moments about our point of interest have to be equal to the resultant moment also calculated about that same point of interest. So if we start with this 980 Newton force, um, we know it's got a force of 980 and we need to multiply it by the distance back to where we're looking at. So if we're looking at point B here, the perpendicular distance is gonna be this 2.5 meters. Okay, we also need to think about the direction it's going to push. So if we're going to consider anti-clockwise as the positive direction, this is going to try and push us anti-clockwise about, remember, we're looking at point B. All right, anti-clockwise, that means it goes in as positive. So now we need to look at this other force. So it's going to be 2450. We need to multiply it by the distance back to B. So it's going to be this distance in here, which is 0.5 meters from the diagram. And we need to think about the direction it's going to push about point B. All right, this one is going to try and push our structure clockwise. So it's going to go in as a negative. So this is equal to our resultant moment. And if we plug in the numbers, we find out that it's 1, 2, 2, 5 newton meters so the other thing it asked us um, in this question what we've given the magnitude here it wants to know the directional sense so is it going to try and push us clockwise or anti-clockwise and this falls out um, with regard to the sign of, of our answer so if it comes out positive it's in the positive direction as per our sign convention if it comes out negative then it's the opposite so this has come out positive that means it's going to be in the anti-clockwise direction so that's one answer. Now we just need to repeat this process for the other one, which is point A. So again, we're going to sum our moments. This time our point of interest is A, and it's going to be equal to the resultant moment, this time about point A though. Again, we're going to have the um, positive direction as anti-clockwise. So let's again start with this force. We know it's 980 and we need to multiply it by the distance back to point A. So point A is up here. We need the perpendicular distance. So it's going to be, if this is uh, vertical, we need the horizontal distance back to here. So it's going to be 2.5 meters plus the little bit extra, which I think is 0.25. So the total is 2.75 meters. And again, we need to think about the direction. So this is going to try and push us so that the whole structure rotates anti-clockwise about point A. So it's going to go in as a positive, same as the sign convention. All right, this one here, 2450 is the magnitude of the force. We need to multiply it by the distance back to point A, which is quite little in here. Um, I think it's going to be 0.25, just this little distance. The difference between 0.5 and 0.25. Okay. Thinking about the direction, it's going to try and push 
clockwise about point A, so it's going to go in as a negative. And it's equal to the resultant that we're trying to calculate. So if you plug in the numbers, you end up with an answer of 2083 Newton meters. And again, we need to tell um, or report the direction. So if it's come out positive, that means it's in the positive direction as per your sign convention. So it's going to be going anti-clockwise. So this is the other answer for that one. So that's all there is in this question. Um, see you in the next video.